So here we are, it's hot outside, another day at Old Bear's Bees, thought we'd do some work on the inside with the air conditioning. What we're doing is we're making some bee bread. Now bee bread is basically just a product that's made uh, with using pollen. You can see some pollen in the top, we've got honey in the center, and then we got some pollen in the bottom. Basically what we've done is we're going to add about two tablespoons of pollen on the bottom, fill the rest with honey, and put about two tablespoons on the top. And over the period of the next few days to the next couple of weeks, every time we walk by this, we're simply going to grab it, turn it over, and let it continue to mix itself. What will happen is the, the pollen will start to break down and incorporate into the honey, and it will eventually take on a real heavy consistency, almost like a caramel. Uh, this is considered by many a, a superfood. It's been used for a very long time by long distance athletes, international athletes, Olympic athletes, and just people who have problems with their allergies as well. And this is basically how it starts. A very similar product is made inside the beehive uh, by the bees as they mix pollen and honey together and they give that to the young. And it's a pretty simple process. It takes a little bit of time. You can get in here over the next few days. You'll see the air bubbles as we turn this over and back as it will begin to mix and incorporate. You can also assist it if you like uh, using you know some silverware. I like to use wooden utensils in here. I, I don't think it would probably be a problem using a metal utensil but if I stir it up or I need to dig around in it I usually try to use one of my wooden handled uh, utensils here in the in the kitchen and basically we'll just continue to flip this over a couple three four or five times a day just whenever you think about it or walk it or walk by it I'll flip it over and let it slowly make itself. We're making this in preparation for an upcoming festival at the Dollum Center that uh, Old Bear's Bees will be part of and we'll have a little bit of product there and we'll have some of this if you can decide you want to come out there that'll be a great festival to see you at there's going to be a lot of other local vendors they're doing some interesting things out there with uh, hummingbirds there's going to be a, a national expert out there banding hunting hummingbirds and it'll be a great a great place for the the family to come and check things out if you come on out please stop by our booth and say hi we'll also have a booth going for the uh, Jackson Honey Bee Rescue and we'd love to see you become a part of that Anything we can do for our bees, we we like to help, and if uh, we can help you as well in your quest to, in your beekeeping, we'd like to do that too. So this is called bee bread, and this is basically how you make it. Not incredibly, not incredibly difficult. You will need some pollen. If you're not able to to utilize your local your own pollen out of your own hives, many of your health food stores will sell the pollen, and you can use it as well as long as you can get yourself some good local honey, and you don't want to get processed honey that's been pasteurized from the store. It will make a product similar to this, but you won't have the health benefits that you would get out of using your own local honey. So just wanted to give you this idea in a quick little video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to make a comment. If you're interested in any of this bee bread for allergies or for endurance or just for health purposes, uh, feel free to give us a, a, a message here and we'll be happy to uh, either tell you how to make your own or see if we can figure out how to get some to you. And thanks for another good day here and another project in the, in the cool for once at Old Bear's Beast.